All right, welcome back to Old Man Tech. Today we're going to be installing Zen. Uh, it's an add-on for Cody. Um, that's got a lot of, of course it's got new movies, new TV shows, that kind of thing, but also has a lot of older stuff. You can actually go back, I think, to 1968 and look at some movies from back then and every year, you know, from then on. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to install it. Well, first let's go ahead and take a look at it first. If we go to videos and add-ons, I've already got it installed in here. Oh, let me go back here so to the beginning. There it is. There's the Zen icon right there. Let's go ahead and click on Zen. And you can see all the different categories here. Movies, TV shows, spots, Spotlight, um, movie watch list, TV watch list, new movies, new TV shows, my list, TV calendars, channels, tools, search, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But um, as you can see, yeah, and I like this here, the, uh, the TV shows watch list. You can click on some of the shows and tell it to set it to your watch list. And, um, you know, then instead of having to search every time to find out where, you just go to your watch list and you've got all the shows that you like to watch up in there. Same way with movies, you can do that too. So anyway, of course, under the, uh, the movies section, let's go there. You've got different, different categories here, all the, the newer movies. And you also got Marvel stuff. So you've got some superhero movies. Uh, you got Oscar winners, so through the years, all the different Oscar winning movies are in there. Uh, Disney collection, a lot of different Disney movies. Let's click that and go into it real quick. Look at that. You got Snow White, Dumbo, all, a lot of old ones. You also got some newer ones. Uh, give it a time to populate the uh, the thumbnails. There you go. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Anything by. Um, anything by. Look, and this is a new one here, BFG. That was a good movie, by the way. Um, you know, the newer movies are in there also. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Come on. You got different genres, of course, and like I said, about the years. Here's the different years. If you click years, you've got, of course, 2017. If you scroll all the way down, 1968. Let's check it. Let's take a look at 1968. Here's some uh, some movies from 1968. Look at that, Planet of the Apes. Um, look at that. All kinds of good things. 2001, Space Odyssey. You also got some uh, some that you haven't really, or at least I haven't heard of before. Look, they got some of these that I'm not sure what these are. Oh, there's Oliver. Oliver Twist. It's very good. But you got some that are not so uh, popular, but they're in here. Um, JG Bang Bang. I love that one. But there's some in here I never even heard of. But anyway, all from 1968. Like I said, you got years from 1968 all the way to uh, 2017. Very, very cool. Very easy to use app, or uh, I'm sorry, add on. Uh, you can also go in the tools section here, and you can set this to download movies instead of just, you know, just watching them. Say your, uh, you know, your your bandwidth is not that good. Your your Wi-Fi is real slow. You can set it to download. That way, you don't have to worry about um, watching it and having to buffer all the time. Um, here in the settings, like I said, you go to tools and settings. Uh, you can go to the download section, and you can enable. Because by default, it's not enabled. You have to go and enable it, and then you'll have to populate the. Uh, the path to save the full, the file. So if you click that, I'm going to go to my C drive. Of course, you, if you have an external hard drive, you can do that. You can set it anywhere you want to, but it's just, of course, remember where. If you click that, I'm going to click users and my name, and let's put it into videos. Okay, i got a bunch of stuff already there. There's BFG, by the way. And uh, yeah, just save it right there. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that. See that there? But you do have to populate both of the movies and the TV, so I'm going to do the same thing for my TV shows. Videos, there we go. As a matter of fact, I've done The Simpsons too. There you go. All right, so there you go. Oh, you see, I populated both of those and make sure I enabled that. So now I can say OK. So now I can go to one of these uh, movies or something. Let's go back to movies, um, years. Let's go back to 68. We just did, what did we, did we look at anything here? Well, let's go ahead and look at Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes real quick. You click it, of course, it's going to search for the different, uh, um, different providers. You can change this. It will sit and search sometimes forever. It seems like you can change how long it'll take to to uh, to time out. Sometimes it just takes it seems to take forever. You can go in the settings and change that. But uh, yeah, here's all the different sources for it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and right click on one of the sources. Well, first let's make sure the source works. Let's click it. Let's make sure the movie does come up. As you can see, it is coming up. Right. Let's go to the very end. See if it's got the last scene, best scene ever. Let's go. Uh... Yep, best scene ever right here. Let's see the Statue of Liberty. Where's it at? Can't go back any further. Yep, look it up. You dirty apes. Anyway, we don't want to see that. Um, all right, so anyway, so that's the one we just watched. If I right-click on it, or if you have an Android device, you can hold it. Just click and hold it. It'll come up with a menu. Right-click, and you see download. Just click download. Sometimes, even though we just watched it, it says no stream availability. We've tried a couple times, it will work eventually. I'm not sure why. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time. 
Come on. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes it won't let you download it. You have to go to a different stream, maybe. There we go. So um, I can download this as an MP4 at uh, 1.227 1, 1, 1. gigs. It's kind of big. I don't want it. But if you say confirm, it will start downloading. And every 10%, it'll, um, it'll let you know. So, yeah. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Get out of there. So there you go. That was up. Oh, I didn't tell it to download. See, it is downloading. It says 0%. Oh, well, maybe it's going to download. I don't. Okay, I'll get rid of it later. However, we can now get rid of this, and I'll show you how to install, um, how to actually install it. Okay, so I uh, wiped everything out. I put everything back to factory default, so there should be no, let's see if we go to the add-ons here. Yeah, there's nothing in here whatsoever. It's all brand new, just like I just installed Cody. Um, now, now, there's a little trick to installing Zen. I, at least for me, I had some problems when I first installed Zen, you know, I added the uh, the repository and installed from the repository, and it would error out. It said Zen, it couldn't do it. There was a dependency that it required that it didn't have. Um, so he, here's how I get around. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and install it, and I'll show you the, the error. Okay, so what, how we install this, we're going to go to System, File Manager. Under fa File Manager, we need to add the source. Double-click Add Source. We're going to click under None. I say under none. This is the uh, the source name, but uh, there's none in there, so it says none. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and type in the following: HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.schism s c h i s m dash tv dot net forward slash repo. Okay, and then we're going to hit done. Of course, I will put this down in the uh, the comments. You can do a copy and paste if you want to, but uh, there it is. Say done. All right, we're going to name it something. I like to name it schism. Put a dot before it. s. C H I S M. Okay, there we go. And, and say done. Done. All right, there we go. And okay. All right, and so there it is. It put the uh, the source right there. Let's go back home. Click the home button. All right, so now we are going to go to system and click system. And over here, add ons. And in your add ons, you want to install from the zip file. So let's, cl let's click. Install from zip file. Point to what we just created, schism. All right, and there is the repository zip file. Let's go ahead and click that and let it do its thing. You'll see some stuff down the bottom as it's installed. Install, there you go. It's enabled the repository. So there you go. So the repository is enabled. So let's go now to install from the repository that we just put on there. Click install from repository. And you can see I, we installed this Schism TV add-on repository. Let's go ahead and click that. All right, and this is a video add-on, so we're going to click video add-ons. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Zen. Now, watch when this goes. You'll see there'll be a problem. It'll it'll come up and say that it failed its dependency. So let's go ahead and click it and install. It's doing its thing. It's downloading the files. It's in, in enabling some things down the bottom. See, it says failed to install a dependency right down here. Um, so let's, I'd like to try it again just to make sure. Click it. Say install. And let it do its thing. Failed to install a dependency again. So this is how I got around it. I had the same problem when I tried to install um, Exodus originally. I, I don't have that problem now with Exodus. But, okay, if you have no other um, repos or add-ons installed, like I showed you earlier, it's completely clear that I have no other add-ons on, in here. Um, you will get that error. Now, if you've already installed the TV add-ons repository, so you can install things like, um, I don't know, what's it, Exodus or um, what, what else is there, uh, Phoenix, something like that, then you're going to get this error. So here's how you get around that, okay? So let's go back home. We are going to go to, we're going to install, just like we just installed that, we're going to go back to System, File Manager. This time we're going to add a different source. This is going to be the TV add-on source. Double-click that. Fusion is what we call it. All right. It's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. All right. There you go. Click done. Down here, I'm going to call it fusion dot F-U-S-I-O-N. All right. And also click done. Say OK. I'll put this down in the comments also, and there you go, Fusion is 
there. Let's go back home. Go back to system again. Go back to add-ons again. All right, we're going to have to go up a level because this is where we left it last time. Up a level till we see install from zip file. Click install from zip file. This time we're going to select Fusion. We're going to go to Kodi Repos, English. And then I scroll all the way down to the bottom. The fourth one from the bottom says repository.xbmchub-1.0.7. may have a different number, but anyway, XBMC Hub. Okay, we're going to click that and let it do its thing. This is installing the TV add-ons repository. Don't have to install any of the add-ons, but you're just putting the repository out there. Once that repository is out there, you should be good to go back to install uh, Zen. Okay, so let's go back home, right? Go back home. We're going to install Zen again. Now, we've already put the source in there, right? Schism's already there. So let's go hit System. And Add-ons. We're going to install from the zip file. Or, I'm sorry, we don't have to do the zip file because we've already done that. We're going to install from the repository. So install from repository. Click that. Go back to Schism. Back to Video Add-ons. And we'll click Zen again. Click Zen. Hit Install. This time it is downloading some stuff, installing stuff, or enabling some stuff down here. There's artwork, Zen, there you go. Now Zen is enabled. So something in that TV add-ons repository uh, is required. Now all you have to do is install a repository. You don't have to install any of the add-ons for Fusion or for TV add-ons, but you have to download that, um, that repository. So anyway, that's all it was. That's all you had to do. Let's go ahead and go back home and go back to video and add-ons. And all right, there you go. And Zen is there this time. Let's go ahead and make it big so we can see. There you go. There's the icon. One point, there it is, 1.6.5. Let's go ahead and click it. And you can see that it does work. Movies. We didn't check out TV shows. Let's click TV shows. Here's all the different uh, categories. Let's click on popular for right now. Just to, just to select something. Let's check Vikings out. All right, season one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and click season one, and we'll do the first one just to make sure it does work. So, like I said, you do have to, and you may want to do it first. Just go ahead and install the Fusion or the, uh, the TV add-on repository first. Then you can go do the whole um, Zen one. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you the error that it does come up with. For some reason, if you are completely you know, brand new, clear installed Kodi, you try to do just Zen, you're going to get that error. Uh, so make sure you go in and install the TV. I mean, sorry, the yeah, the TV add-ons repository, and then you'll be able to do uh, do Zen. So let's make sure Vikings works, and then we'll call it a day. All right, there we go. So all right, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions? Let me know. Like I said, I'll try to put all the instructions down in the uh, the comments. I'll have the instructions on how to do Zen, and I'll also have the instructions on how to do the uh, the TV add-ons one. Now I do have another video if you need to know how to install. Uh, you know, a really in-depth video on how to install the uh, the TV add-ons uh, repository. I do have an in-depth video for that, but... Uh